I had three weeks off from classes, so I decided to take 10 days and backpack Ireland. I went straight from the airport to my hostel to drop my bags, and then I had the rest of the day to just kind of explore Dublin. The weather was so, so beautiful, so I went to Trinity College as well as St. Stephen's Green and was able to just do some people watching, and then I just kind of wandered and made my way through a lot of the like main attractions in the city. I was finally able to check into my hostel in the afternoon and in my room I actually met this girl from Germany and we just like hit it off and so we ended up going to dinner that night together which was really fun and we made plans for the following day. The following morning was one of the only bouts of like traditional icky Irish weather that I feel like I really experienced on my trip. It was just kind of like spitting and gross and windy, but it didn't even last that long. But I spent my morning going to the National Gallery of Ireland, which actually has free admission, which is just so nice. I think paying for museums is silly. I also saw this baby whose head looked kind of weird. It's a painting, you can see it. And then from there, the girl that I had met from my hostel and I went to Howth, which is a town like 30 minutes outside of Dublin. We took the dart and I went for a little hike. Probably one of my highlights of the trip was when we came across a seal in the harbor and it like swam right over to us. It was so cute. And then there was a golden retriever that was like trying to jump in and play with it, which was adorable. When I was looking at this hike on Google Maps, I found a little beach called Tiny Hidden Beach and I had become obsessed with it. So I decided that I was gonna pack my bathing suit and go for a swim at this beach. It ended up being like a little bit chilly on the walk out, but then we got to the beach and hiked down and oh my gosh, it was so perfect and sunny and delicious and the water was freezing, but I loved going for a little dip and Tiny Hidden Beach. Is there anything better? Talk about genuinely a wonderful, perfect day. After we got back from the hike, we went out to dinner to this Thai place, which genuinely had the best Thai food I've ever consumed. I got this tofu cashew stir fry that was unbelievable. And then we went out to a couple pubs and just listened to some live music. It was, it was wonderful. And then when I got back to my hostel, I was chatty. So I proceeded to give you guys a full room tour, which I won't subject you to, but I was feeling pretty good. And it was just a really fun night in general. The only thing on my agenda for my last morning in Dublin was to get breakfast and then get a pastry. I'd heard about Bread 41 online and I went. It was solid, I got an almond chocolate croissant. Probably should have just stuck with almond, but it was decent. And I also got a breakfast sandwich, which was yummy and ate that on my little walk. From there, I took the train to Cork. Good morning. It is like 9.30 right now. I am gonna get up and then we're heading to, I think it's called Cobe today, C-O-B-H. It's not Cobb, I know that for a fact. Um, yeah, okay. I can't really find a place to put the camera, but I'm gonna do a little breakfast haul. Um, cheese and crackers with mini Oreos, yeah. strawberry yogurt. I don't have a spoon, so we're gonna try and use like the lid as a spoon. Classic biscuits. And I might get some ice cream later. So, yep. Okay. I'll show you where I'm sitting. This is my yogurt situation that I've rigged up. Mmm.
Cove was unequivocally the most like picturesque little town that I visited on my trip. I mean, just look at the houses and the harbor and the boats and the blue skies. It was, it was perfect. It was such a nice little day trip and I'm so, so glad that I went. little update it is i think like nine right now i did a little work in like the common room again and then i walked i got a burrito i ate in bed and i proceeded to lie in bed for like three hours i also got to wash my hair for the first time on this trip i'm not a big hair washer to begin with um but i have my own bathroom and i don't for the next two nights so i was like i might as well wash it while i'm here as i mentioned i was eating my burrito in bed it wasn't a great system it was a really really full burrito i had like beans and veggies and rice and like it was it was yummy anyway I was eating it in bed, I had like a napkin on my lap, but it was like a one-ply napkin. <laughs> I spilled beans, spilled the beans, literally, but unfortunately they are stained above the zip-off pant slash short line, so I can't just wear them in shorts. Now we're heading to Killarney. Look at this fucking view. This is the Ring of Kerry, and my hike is, it's like 15 kilometers round trip, and I'm going to a waterfall. My mom would kill me, but I'm walking on the side of the road right now. But if I walk through the national park, it's like so much longer, so. Killarney National Park. I didn't really have any expectations except for the fact that I decided that I was 100% going to see this damn waterfall. I planned my hike around that but ended up seeing some of those beautiful views. So, pretty cool. Also, this couple at the National Park had three Irish wolfhounds. Three! I stayed at the Black Sheep Hostel in Killarney, and I thought it was a really, really cool hostel, honestly. Super inexpensive. They really prioritize environmental sustainability and had their own garden, which I thought was pretty cool. And they have four little scruffy hostel dogs. Come on. Anyway, from Killarney, I took my first day trip, which was a Dingle Peninsula and Sleahead Drive tour. I went back and forth between that and a Ring of Kerry tour, but I'm really glad with what I chose. I thought it was cool. I did fail to mention that not only was our tour guide slash bus driver particularly spunky, but he also sang multiple times throughout the trip. His father's only son, his mother's pride and joy. Along with the free concert, I also paid four euros to hold a baby lamb. So it was a win-win, really. <laughs> I feel like my time in Killarney went by really quickly having one of the days be taken up by the tour. So my final day, I just kind of wanted to explore a little bit more, but then I packed up and kind of had a long travel day ahead of me. I went from Killarney to Port Arlington and Port Arlington to Galway, which is my final stop. Well, I made it to my Airbnb. Just wait till you see the downstairs. I don't know, it's like cutesy in like a creepy way. I just downed a pizza, it's so yummy. Now. I shall rest. Also, there's so many mirrors in this place. It's really scary. All right, I'm heading down to breakfast now. 
off to go see the cliffs some more and I'm so fucking excited. And I have a cheese stick in my pocket, so here we go. My second day trip was to the Cliffs of Moher, which I feel like if you've seen any pictures of Ireland, you've probably seen pictures of these crazy cliffs. So we had a few other stops along the way, but that was kind of the main attraction. We met Jack the donkey and yeah, it was stunning. It was really, really, really cool to see. It was definitely the most touristy stop of my whole trip, but I feel like it was well worth it and just really beautiful. I have to check out at 10 and it's 9 right now. Then I got some exciting news. The girl that I had met in my first hostel in Dublin was actually coming to Galway and our trips were gonna overlap. So we ended up spending my last day in Galway together, just kind of wandering around the city, exploring. We walked on this like really long trail along the beach and got breakfast together. It was just really nice to have someone to hang out with on my otherwise solo trip and also someone to explore the city with who had also never been there. I would say Galway was definitely my favorite city and I kind of wish I had more time there, but either way, it was just, it was wonderful. It was a wonderful last day. I'm back in Dublin and I made it to my final stop of the trip, which is actually really sad, but also I have my own space. This is the biggest bed I've slept in since being here. I'm gonna shower and just relax. Good morning, guys. Um, it's like nine right now and my flight is at two, I think, but check out to 10, which I just feel like is relatively early. I'm sad to go. And I also have like shit at home that I want to do and like I want to see my friends and I don't know. 10 days was like the perfect amount of time. Like I feel like a week is too short, but like 10 days is like delicious, you know? 